Make a note of that, Mr. Sproles. I got the wrong case number. Yes, sir. It's seven two eight six nine. Yes, sir. My apologies. All right. We're here today. Um, for an arraignment. Uh, there has been an indictment. Looks like 11 counts of. First of all, we need to make sure there she is. 11 counts of um, false report. Mr. Sproles, does she waive reading if it's not guilty? She does, Your Honor. All right. Now, I believe that uh, Mr. Sproles, on May the 14th, you filed a motion to reduce bond, a, a second uh, motion. No, that may not be true. I think the first, the May 9th hearing, March, March 9th hearing, looks like that was a motion to increase filed by the state. So you filed your motion to reduce. Are you ready to go forward? Judge, actually, we had filed that motion. The, the court will recall this case was originally set for arraignment on June 19th. Correct. Um, and, and at the time I'd filed the motion, the uh, state had uh, had not uh, gotten an indictment. And so um, we filed the motion in anticipation that she would be waiting essentially another month for an arraignment date. Um, I'm comfortable, now that we have an indictment, I'm comfortable the court wants to look at her bond situation uh, based on the charges we have in front of us. We're, we're not gonna present any proof on the issue um, the court has heard proof at the last hearing, so um, that, that's kind of where we are, Judge. All right, the state wants anything, Your Honor. The, the court heard the proof at the last hearing with regard to the motion to increase. At that time, Your Honor had before you one count of false report. Now the grand jury has acted, and there's 11 counts of false report. There's no new evidence for the court to consider, there are 10 additional charges. The state would um, ask the court to leave the bond in place as is. All right. Um, the court being presented with no uh, changes in any of you know, the current situation, uh, the bond will remain the same. Um, Mr. Sproles, I'm not going to dismiss your motion. Um, if it's some, if something changes in the future, uh, you can ask to have this reconsidered. Judge, I, I appreciate that. That you know, after we get into the discovery process, we may want to ask the court to look at it again. All right. And now we need an announcement date. Your Honor, Mr. Sproles had, I think, filed an additional motion. Motion to amend. I have a motion for discovery. Uh, Judge, it was filed under seal. Uh, Yes, um, the court never intended for the district attorney not to be able to give discovery materials to uh, the defendant. So if you, Your if Honor, someone we're, we're actually would, in agreement that he that he should have access to that. Absolutely. Yeah. I, and I, I didn't think they would deny it, Judge. I just if someone maybe higher up than us looked at this. I just wanted it to be clear. Right. So, yeah, the court will amend that order. Somebody want to prepare that in writing and I'll sign it. Just submit it to me in chambers and I'll sign it. 
Mr. Sproul said he would. It's his right. motion. You know, if you want to come and get that. What are you doing How far out do we need to go to uh, give you time to sift through the schedule? Wait. Wait yeah. Uh, what about a late July announcement date? I think all parties are agreed to that time frame. How about July 31st? State, you're That's right. fine, Judge. All right, and the case comes off the June nineteenth date. All right, July thirty first at nine o'clock. Thank you, Mr. Judge. While we have her, Miss Boswell, you did get a copy of the indictment. Yes. Did you get a copy of the discovery motion as well? I did. Okay. Um, I will get in touch with you after today. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Ms. Boswell. All right, thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Yeah.